Once you've spent a little bit of time within Cisco UCS Manager, you may find some quirks with the interface slightly annoying. Now, what am I talking about? Well, there's a lot of pop-ups. I'll go ahead and just make an IP pool real quick and show you that once we go through the wizard, you'll see the screen here kind of fades into the next screen. And then as I finish out, there's a success box. And if I want to delete that pool that I just created, there's a delete box that pops up and then a successfully deleted box that pops up, and you're gonna spend a lot of time hitting OK. There's also the fact that some of the tables just don't fit on the screen very well. So you'll see here I have a slightly condensed size on my window, and therefore I now have to scroll back and forth on this table, some other tables, etc. We can fix that, and I will show you how. So at the top, there's an Options button, and I'm running version 2.12a. If you don't see it, you might need to be at that version or later, but I do remember seeing this for quite some time. Click on the Options button, and you get a Confirmation Messages Property Detail window. Now, this is handy because it tells you all the different things that are going to confirm when you do them, such as deleting, discarding, modifying, creating, and the fact that something was successful. Now, me personally, I turn off everything but the delete one. So that way, when I discard some changes, if I modify or create something new, or if I have a successful operation, which we hope is quite common, I won't get a box. But I still want a box when I want to delete, unless I'm doing a mass amount of deletes, and then I might turn it off temporarily. The next is visual enhancements. There's two here that I pretty much always change. The first is the automatically pack table columns. That's really handy because it's going to auto sort all of the table contents onto your screen. So I check that box and then we don't have any things hanging off the side anymore. The other one is the wizard transition effects, which is by default on. And that's that kind of fade wizard that you saw where we faded from one screen to the next as we hit next. That's actually quite annoying. And especially when you're over a remote desktop or something with kind of a latent video display, that just causes more lag and is frustrating. So I turn that off and then click OK. Now you'll notice it still looks kind of goofy here. Sometimes I notice you have to click back and on, and if it doesn't work the first time, log in and out, and it'll fix it. But what it's basically doing is it's gonna do this option for you, the pack all columns. So as we go through here on these other tabs, we should see that everything is nicely packed in there. Nothing's hanging off like normally it would be like maybe this far over. It's not hanging off, there's no scrolly bar, because it's automatically packing your tables. Now let's go through the IP pool creation one more time, and we see that I'm going to make the IP pool, I'm going to type the word test. Now when I click next, there shouldn't be any more of that fade, and as you'll see, it's gone. It just goes directly through and finishes out the wizard. There's also no successful pop-up box anymore. I've removed that. So now I'm going to delete that pool, and we should get one for that, saying, are you sure you want to delete? And that's fine. I think that's a good safety to have in place. So I'm going to click yes. And then it just deletes, it's successful, and it doesn't tell me that it's successful. So I've removed a very large quantity of these pop-up distractions from Cisco UCS Manager. Don't miss out on my future videos. Become a YouTube subscriber today. Do you crave more content on home labs, technical certifications, deep dives, product reviews, and geeky shenanigans? Wall Network is also available in blog format at wallnetwork.com.